the way that there's, you know, the war on drugs or the war on whatever it might be that they've decided, oh, we got to put the harshest of rules on, strictest of rules to really make this stop, is the way they need to have a war on crooked cops. First of all, we'll start with you, Daniel, and then Paul, how you feeling? I feel a bunch of different things right now. I feel heavy, but I feel inspired. I feel tired, but I'm still energized. It's like a weird mix of like hope and hurt at the same time. I feel very aware right now. I feel like we're all watching a series on TV that's very unbelievable, but you can't step away from it. This year has been I've never lived through a year like this, that's for sure. I know you guys are promoting this new album, but is this experience, is this climate inspiring any production, any lyrics to a song right now? 100%. 100%. Speaking for both of us, I think we kind of need things to not necessarily be the best for us to make the best music. So anytime we're going through stuff, Yo, we have songs for days. It's just scary hearing him say that. I'm like, what is my life gonna be? <laughs> We're gonna have to keep going, have to keep going through the worst of moments to keep great music going. <laughs> what are you listening to right now, Paul? Curtis Mayfield's greatest hits. Just to be in the spirit of everything that's happening. Sometimes I've wondered how Curtis Mayfield, Marvin Gaye, some of these guys went from singing the sultry R&B, sexy, relationship-based to the political, radical, uprising music. And I was like, was that just the time or whatever? But I'm starting to realize as we go through right now that it's a natural progression uh, depending on your environment. I think the next couple of years, we're gonna hear a lot of these feelings echoed and you know the residue and the aftershock and aftermath of, of all of this in, in music, in art, in film. A big topic of conversation over the last few weeks for sure is privilege and who has privilege, who doesn't. I think a lot of artists also, we have to acknowledge that we've had a privilege whether we choose to talk on certain things or not because that might affect us or it might not affect our careers in the way that we think is profitable. So we're just going to continue on the same path we've been on. But mm -hmm. if we're going to have other people privilege part of that checking comes with us checking ourselves to say like are we either speaking on things or being active in certain communities to change things i spoke with with spike lee who has never shied away from talking about the truth and when i spoke to him i said i said i said spike oh gee even with all of these things there's something about it that makes me feel optimistic Something about this time around that makes me feel hopeful. Am I ignorant in, in feeling that way? Would you qualify those feelings? And he said, yes. He said he was optimistic. My hope comes from this being the first time everybody's talking about the same thing. I think this is gonna be a fight and I think it's gonna be a tooth and nail fight every step up that ladder. As much as I'm happy about these arrests, Really, all we got out of that was, okay, you caught me. So my hope lies in the people. My hope lies in the unification that we currently have that I don't think even at the civil rights time that that was as big because, because of social media, because of how intertwined and interconnected the entire world is, now everybody is at least talking about the same thing where these conversations and actions go we'll see but that's my 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 shining light in the darkness <laughs>